watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well, earlier in the week, CB Tactical sent me a couple of knives and I'm going to be reviewing one of those today. They are from the Rough Rider Tough Stag series and you get this box. The nice uh, deer in the middle of the Tough Stag logo there. It says, built by hand, back for life. Back, back R here. And then again, this logo. Always high quality handmade pocket knives. Country of origin is China. There's your cancer warning. And we're going we're gonna to be looking at model number RR2371. Again, this is the Scout. Inside the box, there's the back to back R logo with that felt cutout. And magnetic style closed box. So what do we get? We get the Tough Stag Scout. And I wasn't familiar with this pattern. I uh, I only realized that they were making the smaller Scout knives. I didn't know they were making this big jumbo style uh, Scout knife. This one's four and a quarter inches. Uh, again, the information on Smoky Mountain Knife Works does not provide the length on this one. Uh, specifications can be a little hard to get sometimes from Smoky Mountain Knife Works, at least in any accurate sense. But uh, Chicago Knife Works did show that this was four and a quarter inches. But I, again, I didn't know that they were making this pattern uh, in this size, so that was a little bit of a shock to me. But you get this wonderful bail on this knife and uh, nickel silver bolsters on either end. The RT bolster still was hanging around on the Tough Stag series. You get this hexagonal shield with the back-to-back -back R. It says hand-built on there. And then, of course, the Tough Stag handles, which are very much like the Uncle Henry Stagalon handles. You get the black underliner on there. And uh, you can see the springs are nice and tight. You got, like, three springs there with some... Uh, bracing and then uh, some brass liners so very stout knife very well built and then you've got the four blades in there which we'll be taking a look at but let's take a closer look at the uh, exterior a little more here we you can see there's uh, some minor gap here but there's a lot going on on the back spring there so for it to be that well made it's pretty good you just get this minor gapping here on that bottom spring but again the black underliners everything's smooth here shields well inlaid and uh, good transitions to the bolsters on either side there and then you can see the back pretty well matches the front just without the shield and you get the nickel silver pins again those are nice and smooth good transitions and a good look at that tough stag. Now I thought we would compare that to uh, an Uncle Henry, an older one. There's I've got an older one here at this hawk bill, and you can see it's pretty pretty similar color wise. The jigging's a little different, you know, the design of that, but uh, very similar in color was identical so they definitely kind of took from uh, the staglon style there and just use their own style Delrin and yeah, whatever plastic they use there probably not the proprietary name Delrin which was a DuPont name but uh, this is similar style plastic but nice clevis there uh, yeah, it's probably like a inch long clevis, but again, the overall length of the knife is four and a quarter inches when it's closed, and yeah, you get like a one inch bail on it. So the main blade is a big, big old spear point blade. Pretty good pull on it. it does have half stops. Get the match strike pull and the mirror finish blade. Back to back R tang stamp on there. If you can see that, yeah. And there's a good look at your blade edge. Pretty well ground. That's pretty even. 
there's that match strike pole and the swedge that rides above that you can see the swedging on the top there and uh, we can see that it's just the 440 razor sharp steel there got the etch on the uh, the blade there so this is the 440A that they were using and this thing is a fingerprint magnet for sure those mirror finish blades which you get really good lock up I'd say it's about a 6 on the pole we can call it a 7 but well, pretty good pretty good lock up there and it's a very large uh, spear point blade very attractive blade right at 3 inches total and then you get a cutting edge about two and three quarter inches. So uh, this is going to be pushing the limits of uh, a UK legal carry here, right at three inches, but uh, should fall under that category, you know, underneath the three inch limit. So that probably won't be a problem. I haven't looked to see if these are available on Heine Haynes, but I imagine with the blade length being what it is, it should be. But yeah, really attractive uh, spear point blade. And you get a nice big belly on it. And with this larger size camp knife, that's that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty serious uh, spear point blade there. So what else we got? We've got this nice can opener. Again, mirror finish and the match strike pull on it. Our, our tank stamp on that one. Half stop as well. It's about a six pull. Pretty consistent with the main blade. And you can see that's a pretty decent sized can opener. That one's almost an inch and three quarter to the tang. Good, good stamp on it. Good walk and talk. Pretty confident lock up there. Alright, so let's look at the uh, screwdriver slash <clears throat> cap lifter. So you get a nice size screwdriver blade on there. Match strike pull again on this one, the RR tank stamp. And uh, the screwdriver blade's a little over a quarter inch. So it's pretty pretty good size, pretty good width to it. I didn't check out this bottle opener, but that looks like it do the job. Now there's no blade edge on this, just a just a cap lifter and the screwdriver blade. But good pull on that, and you get the nice. Uh, snap on the close. I'd say this one's a little stouter. I'd probably call that a 7 on the walk and talk on that one. So yeah. And then our final blade, we have the all blade. We have the little cutout on the back here so that you can reach that. I'll give you a better look at that. And you can see the nail neck rests right in there in the right spot. So that's really good. And pull on that pretty stout. I'd say it's probably about a six. You get a half stop again on that. And the all blade, uh, pretty nice. It's uh, pretty sharp there at the edge. I'd say the last uh, eh, probably half inch there has got a pretty nice edge on it. Then you get the uh, needle hole there to thread. And that would make a good punch and good for leather work. There's a better look at the uh, the blade, but this portion here is not sharp until you get right about here. And then it gets pretty edgy. So that would work well for an awl or punch. Very functional, I would think. And look at the link on that. That's right at two inches. All right. To the uh, tang. And we can measure that... Uh, screwdriver blade just to kind of give you an idea there the cap lifter that was uh, two and a quarter inches total length 
but overall just a just a cool knife cool camp knife really stout just a beast of a knife and you would definitely want to use that uh clevis clip that on your belt because i don't i don't think that's going to fit in the pocket very comfortably as big as it is with the width of it and i don't see that fitting in, in any ordinary style slip you're probably going to need some sort of a clip sheath or something like that like maybe you would associate with the buck 110 some kind of a larger little belt uh belt sheath but good stout design uh you know just not one i was familiar with just uh, did not know they were making one that large so that's interesting and uh i just i just do think cb tactical for sending this along Again, I really had no idea he was going to do that, and uh, I just want to give him a huge shout out. Make sure you go check his channel out. He uh, he he does a lot of the reviews of like the monthly boxes, you know, like the uh, nerd box. Or I can't, I don't know the specific name. I'm not that familiar with them, but the different uh, boxes that uh, are out there by companies on a monthly basis. He does a lot of reviews of those those uh, mystery boxes. So make sure you go check that out if you're interested in those sort of things. And uh, he does a lot of modern reviews as well. So yeah, CB Tactical. Hope you're uh, doing great. Haven't heard from you for a little while. So thank you again. And uh, we'll be looking at the other knife that he sent in the coming days. And we'll do a review of that one as well. But uh, there you have it, tough stag steeries. Again, the the stag handles are very, very similar to your Uncle Henry that they were making before they switched over to the next gen stag lawn. And uh, yeah, so if you're familiar with those handles, you'll you'll probably appreciate these quite a bit because they're very, very similar. But that does it for my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button, please. Please hit the like button. That does help the algorithm. Then make sure that the channel stays thriving and uh, if you did uh, like this review please do subscribe and turn on your notifications to make sure you're aware of videos when they drop but uh, we will see you next time guys thank you for watching take care mm -hmm.